Oh, hello there. What's up, ladies and germs? It's just five from YouTube back with another video. Look what we got today on the table. This is going to be the Marvel Legends Spider-Man No Way Home Deluxe Green Goblin Review. Is it worth it? Should you buy? Let's find out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. About 92% of you that watch this channel are not subscribed. So if you want me to buy more Taco Bell this month, I suggest you subscribe or else I'll piss on criminal's figure. Enjoy the video. That's right, baby. You are looking at the Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home Marvel Legends Deluxe Green Goblin. And I gotta say, I hate the windowless packaging still, and I'm glad that it's going away soon. But uh, as we look at the box here, um, we see, you know, Marvel Legends, and we see various imagery of Green Goblin on this box. And then we see the back here, and you just see how the glider works and the accessories it comes with and all that bowl crap so uh let's get into it let's take a gander first look <laughs> all right so here we have it the green goblin oh boy look at him he looks great so here is a little 360 spin on the green goblin he's got a lot going on with him a lot of colors a lot of paint um actually not as much paint as you would think this this figure was molded in like a green shiny plastic but as you can see, this is the Willem Dafoe head, and uh, damn, that shit's crazy. That, that's uh, that's Willem Dafoe. There's just so much going on with this thing. Like, the sweater's got stitching. Like, the sculpt work is just incredible, man. Like, all that gear attached to a suit. It looks pretty accurate to me. Honestly, I don't think the purple bits are, but I mean, hey, man. And now for an important bit, the pumpkin bomb. Uh, very nice. I've kind of covered it in the last video, but uh, yeah, pumpkin bomb's pretty good. Um, but this is why we're really here. The f***ing goblin mask. Oh my god, look at it. This thing is perfect. Like, I think this is the perfect goblin mask. Um, and it's even got the back. It's got the full cover. This is the whole deal. Look at that. Look at that. It's the back cover. I don't know why I get so excited over that. But you just take the head off and uh, you just, you know, you just uh, pop that pop that little sucker on right there. And then, uh, misery. And then once you get the helmet all together, you've pretty much completed the coolest look you can get with this figure. In my opinion, in my honest opinion, this is exactly, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. This is exactly, I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams, but this is exactly what I've been waiting for. How I want my figure to be on display. With the helmet on, like, come on. Like, this is just, it's too hard. This look with the helmet would have been amazing in the movie. I'm glad they gave this to us because this just is incredible. It, it, it's just awesome. I, I, don't, I don't know what else much to say. It's just awesome. I will say though, the one thing that does suck is yeah, you can see the skin on the neck. It would be nice if the entire neck was just separate. I don't know why Legends won't do that. They often will not do separate necks. I like that they did it with Tombstone, the retro carded Tombstone, but they just won't do it with anyone else. And I don't know why the No Way Home figures in general look like they can have the entire neck removed, but they, uh, they can't. I don't know why they do that. It's like they're teasing us. <laughs> So, and as for the accessories, you can actually have pretty much everything on him anyway. But, as you can see, we got some heads, we got a bomb, we got some accessories for the head, and then we got this beautiful, beautiful glider, which we'll get to in a second, with the flight stand, and, uh, yeah, that's all of our accessories. Holy moly! One, two, three, four! Oh, oh my goodness, we got the Green Goblin on the glider with the helmet. Holy shit on the flight stand. That looks great. This is how he looks on the glider. And I gotta say, it's perfection. 
the glider's great. Um, yeah, he looks awesome. I will say, this figure is in dire need of a boot swivel. That's all I'm saying. But at least you can turn the feet pads and, uh, you know, articulate it as best as your ability. But this figure really should have came with some uh boot swivel that would have been very nice but at least it's got a pivot and you know you can turn your pads and this is what he looks like with the helmet off on the glider with all the other gear and yeah this is uh jumped right on the way home and like i said you can pretty much put every accessory on him you can put the helmet on the glider or have him hold it whatever you want to do but here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have him fight one of the toby figures and uh let's see who wins yeah let's see who fucking wins you know, I think it's pretty obvious who uh, wins this. I mean, you got this Toby and you got the <laughs> the Green Goblin. Like, man, I think it's pretty obvious who wins this fight, you know, next to the mediocre -ish figure, you know. Solid fight. Wanna know? Also, side note, if you own the Toy Biz Doc Ock, these goggles go on perfectly to create that final fight look where he's got the goggles on at the end. I will also mention this in the Doc Ock review, but this is badass, and this is how my Doc Ock's gonna be from now on. <laughs> That's what you think! I would say easily this figure's a solid 9 out of 10. You know, just the glider is amazing. The bomb is pretty good. It could be a lot better. The head sculpts are perfection. And just like all the detail and the paintwork and, you know, this, all the stuff, you know, like they, like they kicked ass. When Hasbro does a figure and they kick ass, they kick ass when they do it, man. Oh, man. When they really try, this is the shit that I'm like here for. Like this is really fucking amazing solid 9 out of 10. I would recommend if you are a Raimi shill like I am, or a Green Goblin shill, or just a Willem Dafoe connoisseur, you know? I would suggest, if you are so inclined. This is not an ad. I'm not being paid to say this. This is just genuinely amazing, and I hope you enjoyed. The next one's gonna be crazy, so buckle up.